It's Sunday. I'm off. I'm on vacation. I got vent fans. Inductor vent fans. They were a stupid little shaded pole fucking piece of shit motor with plastic blades because that uh, China says that's good enough. And the reason I got these is because we got these two vents, one, two, for the central AC. Okay, and they run down here and there's a third which runs up and over and all the way down back to the air handler. And these all run through the wall and go up here. And this one goes out to the far corner of the dining room, the near corner of the dining room. And that one you can't see in there goes to the kitchen. Reason I want to do that is because on the, uh, on the hottest days of the year, when we got the sun beating down, because that part of the house faces south, um, you get the sun beating on it, so the heat goes in, plus it's the kitchen, so if you have the stove or the oven on, it gets fucking broiling. So if I get some more airflow there, because they're also the farthest ends of the house over here from the air handler, which is in this big metal duct behind, we'll, we'll get into that later. So that's what we're gonna do. So we gotta basically take this down, over here, we're gonna cut it in, and then the other two will go in there, and in there, and uh, I got a speed control for you, you'll see it all later, we're gonna show the whole installation and shit like that, I got my buddy here helping me out, we used to do this kind of shit, so, feed him beer and it's awesome, yeah. So we'll come back uh, once we know what the fuck we're doing, cool. So what we got here is we got a little handy box, they call it, and we just took the center uh, thing out, it came with screws, which are you're supposed to use to mount to the actual existing rigid duct, but I don't have those, I have flexible, so whatever. So we're just gonna kind of center that and uh, put the screws in. It's uh, sheet metal, so it should go right in. Should go right in. Will go right in. And break the screw off. But that's okay, because we got more. <laughs> it was more. Oh, yeah. Love China already. But at least we got a hole drilled now, right? <laughs> okay, take two. We got a self tapping screw now just to make the holes. We'll put that in slow. And then we'll take them out and put the real screws in and all kinds of good shit, or just keep one in there just to anchor it or something. So we're just gonna fart around with these screws. This is probably gonna be only the first hurdle here and then we'll, we'll go from there. There we go, just using the four screws. Uh, probably drill them first next time, but whatever, it's there, it's mounted. It's straight enough, that's fine. And now you got your wires here, obviously. Your uh, ground, your neutral, and your hot. And uh, we'll just wire those up and obviously you gotta duct them in. I wonder if, this is gonna be a little bit of a problem for that because there's not much to grab onto, but we'll figure it out. There's always duct tape. One other essential tool you'll need, whatever your weapon of choice is. And over here we have the vent, um, the duct rather, I should say, down. They just put this up with some whatever the fuck, it looks like phone wire just because it either fell or, and it was just hanging on that. That's great, that's wonderful. So whatever, we just took it down here and now we're just gonna cut it with like a razor blade and inside is like a, like a steel wire, an aluminum wire, and we'll just cut that with a pair of dikes and then it'll be split and then you put the shit in and either fold the insulation back or I don't know what we're gonna do, we'll figure it out and we'll show you. This is basically the finished product of the uh, vent fan mounted. We got two clamps. I bought these are five to seven inch opening clamps, whatever. Uh, if it helps, this is the UPC number from Depot. So you can pause that and take a look. And the box here, we'll put a cover on that and uh, we're gonna duct tape this up, obviously. And we're gonna mount it up to the ceiling. How? Well, I happen to have this extra old wire laying around. So what we're gonna do is basically put that up with a drywall screw or two and wrap it around this and just hang it up there and shit like that. 
and uh, we've already tested this. This is we have the system on actually, while well, because there's no danger really. So the air is coming this way. We have the fan mounted the right way with the airflow and all kinds of good shit. So we have that in, and uh, we tested it before. I didn't make a video. Maybe we'll do it on the next one. And uh, it really does boost the airflow, so uh, it should help. So we're just going to carry on and mount this up, duct tape and uh, the whole nine, and uh, we'll come back when we have that up there. Okay, this one's mounted up. We were able to reuse the existing wire ties, and you see that thin wire. And it's just mounted up, just duct tape around it. You get a little leakage through the box, but once you put the cover on, that should be negligible for the airflow we're going to achieve with it. And uh, my buddy's gonna hook up a line cord to this, and I'm gonna go upstairs with an anemone meter, anemometer, an, an, an anemone, one of those things, and we'll go up there and test it, and then we'll turn it on and see what we get. It's currently on. The meter is set to feet per minute, I believe. And we're reading about 350-ish, somewhere in there. This is with the booster not on. So you can go ahead and turn it on. I don't like that. We'll see what's going on. Hold on a minute. He couldn't hear me before, so reading about 4.30 something. So go ahead and kick that on. About five something depending put it I can definitely hear the difference 530 ish something depending I mean I should take the vent out really but that might actually change the reading some yeah about 530 ish somewhere in there 511 530 take it out That could be almost a hundred CFM difference, so that yeah, certainly helps. That's awesome. All right, now we'll install two more. Cool. Okay, next one's mounted up. We got a little county wampus because we got we got to make room for shit there and whatever. That vent's open. Air is blown out of here. Obviously, you won't be able to hear me, but you can see the fan just from the air from the uh, AC running now. And it's obviously not connected, but it just turns out you can stop. It. So whatever, it blows like that, and then when you turn it on, it obviously goes faster and makes more shit. So I love that kind. We already tested it with the uh, anemone upstairs, and uh, we're gonna plant that bitch up right up in there and put it up. And once we do that, then we're gonna get to the wiring. Got just a little pigtail wire here. We're in this box now. We ran the wire in. We use some clamps. I'll show you in a second. And uh, to do that, and now all you do is just match the colors up: white to white, black to black, and bare to green, because green is ground. So now we're doing the white wire there. Just twist them, and then throw the fucking wire nut on there, and golden. That's it and then you will fold it up in the box there and put the cover on. The clamps we're using are standard metal box clamps. These here. They have a, a little ring that unscrews and then uh, they're Romex connectors he says. Whatever and then it screws on the, uh, the shit there. You put the this nut on the inside of the box, tighten her down. And over here is a clamp. The Romex goes through that and it clamps up and you tighten the screws down. And that's it. So I got a bunch of those to have extras and whatever and that's it. Okay, so we have the last box wired and we ran a wire up and around and over and into this new box. And I'm gonna put a fan speed controller similar to what you'd use for like a ceiling fan up in there just cause I can. 
I've already tested it uh, the other day. Uh, low speed doesn't seem to do much of anything. So that's pretty well useless, but you can put it down to medium, which I guess will be the new low. And high does not lose any voltage uh, as if it were wired direct. Plus I have the ability to shut it off completely. So now there's a wire run, it's not that one, but another one here that runs up along the main channel and runs way down all the way over here somewhere. I didn't see where he fucking, but it's up in this mess over here somewhere and comes down probably that over there I'm guessing and comes back behind the air handler and over and runs in here and this is where we're gonna put power in so what we did is we just tested everything first of all I didn't even know I even got a light here <sighs> this is a two-speed blower there's a red wire that's the low speed and the black is the high speed you see them right here so theoretically, I can put a switch in here to toggle it high and low. It doesn't seem to make that much difference, but either way it is there and eventually I'll implement that because I can. Uh, the relay has, come around here with the light. There we go. Right in here. Right there, that contact is where the black wire goes and that hangs on there. So that wire is live right off the relay when the thermostat calls for the blower to come on and the compressor and all that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put, I got these right here, we're gonna put these guys in. So this way I don't have to cut that wire. We're gonna put this on the relay terminal and come off of that. We're gonna go into a wire nut right there to tie in this new wire right over here and then that will plug into this connector here will plug into the old original fan wire that was on there and that way I don't have to cut that wire or do anything with it and uh, I can do the same thing with the red wire later on if I ever wanted to implement low speed so we're just tidying up things on the other end there and over here we're going to wire this in, in just a minute alright so over here we're hooking the neutral wire up we're going to tie that right in with the existing neutral that's there. We have the ground already tied in over in there on the ground. So we're just doing the stuff that we know is going to work. So we're going to wire that in and rewire nut it. See, just like that. And it goes in fancy crazy Gumby Gold. I think in Canada you call those morettes for some reason, because you're Canadian, eh? So anyway, that gets tucked back in just as it was. That's the neutral for the whole everything, so neutral's neutral, it's fine. And now we do the hot wire. And there's your finished job. So we got a thing off of that, which goes into a thing over here, into the wire nut, and then out off this white Romex out to the blowers. And now we're going to test it out. Here's what we got currently now. It changes throughout the day, and depending on where I have the ammonometer. Yeah, so go ahead and turn that on now. And that certainly did increase a bit. I certainly heard it. Shut it off. Oh yeah, there's definitely a marked difference I can feel. We'll go over to another vent. Oh! I'll try this one here. Oh, let's see. This one reads about five... 550 to 590. Go ahead and kick it on. Almost 650 now. And I can certainly hear it. And I'm sure the other one is working too. I won't bother recording that, but I'll test it. <laughs> 